Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm really excited to be doing... Can that card chill? I'm really excited to be doing a palette roulette with a new palette I just picked up a little while ago. This is the Urban Decay Elements palette. It is a very colorful, unique palette that I've been waiting like forever to get my hands on. And I haven't been able to play with it as much as I wanted to because I've been testing out some other palettes and doing some more looks or some other blah, 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 and doing some more looks for some other videos. So I thought this would be a perfect way to jump in and just try out some of the shades in this palette. I really want to pick out four shades and then just do a look. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of palette roulettes. And I hope if you haven't already and you would like to, you consider subscribing and hitting the little bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So the way that I'm going to pick my shades, I'm going to use a random number generator on my phone. And I'm going to start with this blue shade right here as number one. Go all the way around to the light blue shade. Continue until I hit the middle. There are 19 shades in this palette, so I'm going to pick four random numbers between one and 19. Okay, so let's see what we get for our first shade. We got number three. Oh, so we got the matte beige shade right here. Okay, so this one is called Antidote, and it's just a little bit darker than my skin tone, just like a matte transition-y kind of shade. Oh, good luck so far. Okay, okay. Let's see what else we get. Next, we got number five. Ooh, okay. So number five is this shade right here called Earthbound. It's like a dark green. I can't wait to swatch this. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Get out of here. Like, huh. So let's pick our third shade. We got shade number 17. Okay, here we go. Shaking it up. 17. 17 is the shade right here called Tectonic, which is, let's see, ooh, a very like deep copper shimmer. This is going to be a very earth toned look, which is I'm surprised because we have some blues and we have some pinks in here, but I'm not mad. This is gonna look pretty. Our last shade, what shade? Number eight. Okay, number eight, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then that is Lioness right here. Looks like a mauve, so let's swatch you. Okay. Nice. It does look fairly similar on camera to my third shade right here, but they do have some subtle differences. Now, ah, oh, okay. I like these shades. I'm just trying to think. Do I want to use the green all over the lid? Do, oh, ooh, I think I know what I'm going to do. I think I know what I'm going to do. Okay, let me <laughs> get my brushes out and let's jump in. Okay, so I'm just going to take the first shade that I got, the antidote shade, and I'm just going to throw that all in my transition. I'm also going to take a smaller brush and throw this all over my lower lash line. There is a fair bit of kick up in the shade, but I don't see any fallout on the eye. I'm just going to get that all over. Before I started, I already primed and set my primer. I used the MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre, and then I just used my face powder to set that. I don't know if I said that before. So now I'm just going to take a smaller brush, dip into that same shade, and just bring this all the way down. Just give myself a nice kind of base to work around. And then I can go back in once I start bringing in my other shades and blend those shades together. So now what I really want to do, and I think this could look really cute, I want to do a halo eye and I want to build up these two dark shimmer shades in my like transition and on the outer and inner corners. And I want the pop in the middle to be the green. And I think it's going to look, it could either look really cute, it could look really muddy, I don't know, but that's kind of what I'm feeling with those three shades. And I haven't done a halo eye in a, in a bit. So let's jump in. I don't know if I want to use a dense brush. 
Okay, I'm gonna take my Sigma E25 first and I'm gonna jump into the lighter of the two, which was tectonic. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of tectonic on my brush and start building this up here. Now these are all shimmers except for my first shade. So I don't know how they'll perform if I share them out or if I try blending them into my crease, but let's try. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm getting a lot of fallout from this already, so I should probably throw down some trans some translucent powder. I'm just gonna overload it. So it's taking a bit of work to build up with this brush. I think I'm gonna switch to a denser brush, but I'm gonna first just kinda do the same thing on this side to make sure that they match. Hey, I'm gonna go into the denser brush. This is a Sigma E32, which is like a dense kind of exact blend brush. Dipping into Tectonic again, loading it up. Let's see. It's a little bit better. Yeah, I can see a difference there. Okay, so we'll stick to that one. Okay, so since the dense brush worked better, I'm going to take a smaller dense brush from Morphe to try and be careful as I do the same thing on the inner corner. I don't want this to come down too far and look muddy, so I'm really going to try to just build it up right here. So we'll see how this goes, especially with the fallout. Oh, this side came out a lot nicer. I like this side. Okay, let's try. <laughs> That's always the fun, right? Trying to get them to match. Okay, so I'm going to go in and basically do almost the same thing, but a little bit higher with the other shade that I picked, Lion S, because it's got like a little bit of red tint to it that I think would look nice, like blended out along the edges of that brown. So I'm going to try again to go into the loose, not a loose, but try to go in with like a less dense brush and see how this shade reacts to it. Ooh, that blended out nicely. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, we're going to stick with that and just blend out the rest of the brown. I'm going to take the smaller kind of loose brush that I used for my lower lash line in the beginning. Again, going in with the same shade, I'm going to use that to blend in the inner corners. Oh, I'm loving how that's coming out so far. So I think now I'm going to jump in and throw the green all over my lid with my NYX glitter glue, clean up the bottom a little bit, and then we'll work on the lower lash line. So I'm actually really liking how that's turning out so far. I was a little bit worried when I was blending in the green, but now like stepping back and looking at it, I think it's actually coming out nice. So for my lower lash line, I think I'm just going to stick with a combination of the two darker shimmers and just bring that into the middle of my eye. And I'm just going to use a short, dense brush to do that. I'm going to try to be careful because I know I'm probably going to get a lot of fallout when doing this. So I will load up the brush tap off the excess, and then lightly go in. I'm 
Now just to blend that out, I'm going to take the first shade of this light, it'd help if I showed it, this light shade right over here on a loose brush, why do I keep saying loose brush, on a small fluffy brush and just blend out that lower lash line. Make it nice and smoky. Ooh. I think a look like this calls for a wing. I haven't really been doing a lot of winged eyeliner, but I think I'm gonna need to. So I'm gonna jump off camera, do some winged liner, throw on some mascara, and then we'll be back for the final look. Oof, you can like tell I haven't done liner in a while. They're like so uneven. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think this was really fun. And the definitely not colors I would have picked to go together in this palette, but this was a lot of fun. I really want to try out these blues, but those are the ones where I tried them in store and they stained my hand, so I'd have to do that on a day when I'm fine having blue on my eyelids for a long time. I'm actually glad it came out more like earth toned neutral kind of, because I do have an appointment I have to go to later today, so I didn't want it to be a little, you know, pink and blue. <laughs> But I'm really happy with how it came out. I really want to try out the rest of these shades. I might do another palette roulette. I might just do a few looks with this palette. If you want to see like a full three looks, one palette, let me know. I could definitely do that. It would just take me a little bit longer. Since I do want to play with the bright shades and those aren't necessarily shades I can wear to work. So I'd have to film it on a weekend. But it's definitely something that I would like to do. I'm really happy that I got this palette. The only downside so far is that the palette is huge. So you can really only use the mirror when it's sitting like on your vanity. But other than that, I think this is a really nice like holiday palette so far. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked it. You'll give it a thumbs up. If you have this palette and you've been using it, let me know down below. I would love to see like looks that you've come up with or how you're enjoying the palette so far. Thanks again for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!